The history of aviation is closely related to that dream of man reaching the skies and beyond. But man was not always alone in these pursuits. During the Great War, airplanes were used for the first time as reconnaissance and support assets. During the interwar years, aircraft science grew exponentially. The once clunky and small World War I planes were replaced by all-metal fuselages and designs that could reach incredible speeds and altitudes in mere seconds. At the end of World War II, man's growing ambition of one day reaching beyond the sky and to the moon, however, found an obstacle. It was called gravity. In a race to obtain first place in the space age, Americans and Russians began developing aircraft that could perform zero-gravity maneuvers at great altitudes. Scientists did not fully comprehend the notion and concept of weightlessness. It was believed that zero gravity could harm a person's body in unexpected ways. To investigate potential damage to human bodies, NASA and the U.S. Air Force conducted a series of tests with animals in fighters and other aircraft to simulate weightlessness. One such experiment involved analyzing the reactions of kittens in space. It's common knowledge that cats can land on their feet easily on Earth, even when blindfolded. However, scientists ask themselves how cats would react to weightlessness in space. Would they still be able to orient themselves if they did not know where the ground was? In 1956, scientists at a human factors lab on an Air Force test base in Texas conducted a peculiar experiment to find out. The idea first arose when Air Force pilots and space scientists were having a beer in the O Club near the base after performing their duties. The discussion was nothing unusual. The Soviet threat, new Soviet experiments, the Cold War, until one of the scientists started talking about cats in space. According to a report, he asked the group, quote, how would a cat orient in microgravity visually? They always land on their feet, but what if they couldn't feel which way was down? They wondered about the cat's ability to orient quickly when dropped and land on its feet. At that time, studies had not thoroughly investigated zero gravity and its effects on living organisms. According to the scant research available, there seemed to be no significant respiratory or circulatory hazards resulting from weightlessness. But no one was really sure. Renowned Dr. David G. Simons pointed out that respiratory and circulatory complications might arise as a secondary effect of, quote, emotional and automatic reactions, which are essentially the same whether caused by weightlessness, a rough sea, or an obnoxious mother-in-law. Simons generalized his conclusions on studies that included some of German aerospace scientist von Beck's that subgravity should usually produce, quote, minimal discoordination and no disorientation, as long as the subject retains tactile and visual references. What was needed was additional test data to verify preliminary conclusions that could reveal other possible effects of subgravity. Test instrumentation was also needed to record all the gravity force variations from true zero gravity up to a normal 1G state. This would be helpful to any pilot attempting to fly a zero-gravity maneuver. The scientists asked one of the pilots, a captain, if he was willing to take a kitten with him for a flight. The captain agreed. He thought it was a good experiment that was not going to cost the government a penny. They rigged a camera to the captain's aircraft cockpit alongside other body sensors to measure temperature and other data. Then the captain hopped in his F-94C with a calico kitten that calmly rested in his lap. The flight plan included a long parabolic arc that would produce more than 15 seconds of zero gravity. He took off without any problems. The cat remained calm until he got into the parabolic flight. At that instant, he took the cat off from his lap and released it in zero gravity at 25,000 feet. The footage from the rigged camera showed the cat acting wildly. When the kitten realized it could not move, it rotated itself with its feet straight out towards the pilot's chest. Within a second, the frightened animal had anchored itself on the captain's torso with its claws. For the rest of the flight, the pilot tried to peel the cat off from his chest, but it was useless. The cat only allowed the pilot to carry it back to safety after they landed. The curious experiment proved that when in zero gravity, a cat will orient towards the nearest human, latch on, 
and not let go until gravity returns to normal once again. <laughs>